guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Monday. Two weeks ago, I posted a poll on Twitter to ask you guys to pick my next video topic and it was a really close call between the technical side of writing and subplots. There were also a lot of votes for how to put together the copyright page as well as how to write fight scenes. So these are all topics that I am going to do in the future since the votes were so close. But today I'm going to talk about the technical side of writing because that is what the majority of you voted for in the poll. Now I realize that the technical side of writing can have a couple of different meanings. It can mean actual technical writing versus creative writing, or if you were to read it as the tech side of writing, we could be talking more technological. And when I posted the poll, I did mean the more technological side of writing. So if you guys do want to see a video on actual technical writing, that would be things like grammar, punctuation, how to make sure your writing is concise, and active voice versus passive voice, then please let me know in the comments below because like I just said, I was more focused on the tech side of writing, meaning the more technological side of writing. So the great news is if you're wanting to write a book, there's very little startup cost. Unless you don't currently have a laptop or a desktop computer, then you may have a decent size investment up front. But nowadays you can get Asus laptops and a lot of other different laptops for relatively cheap. So on the technological side of things, there are really two things that you need in order to start writing your book. The first is a laptop or desktop computer, and the second is Microsoft Word. As far as computers go, I love everything Apple. So I have an iPhone, I have a MacBook, and I have a Mac desktop. But I know that these are expensive, so a Windows-based computer like a Dell or Asus, like I just mentioned, will be less expensive than a MacBook, and they will do the trick. As for Microsoft Word, that is the writing program that I use. I get asked this question a lot. I post a lot of pictures on Instagram and people see me typing in my manuscript on my vlog. And a lot of people ask me what writing software or program I use. It's nothing special, it is just Microsoft Word. It looks different because I have it already pre-formatted. So I download my pre-formatted templates from a website called DIYBookFormats.com. And when you download that pre-formatted template, it's available in Word, so you download it, open it, and then it's in the format of a book, if that makes sense. So when I'm posting photos of my manuscript or you're seeing from behind the scenes me typing into my Word document and it looks different than a regular Word document, it's because I have a pre-formatted template. So it's no special software, it's just something you can download from DIYBookFormats.com, adjust it as needed, and then start typing. The most cost-effective way is actually to purchase the Microsoft Office Suite. The Microsoft Office Suite is available for Windows or for Mac, although it was made for Windows since it is Microsoft, it's a Windows-based program. But that Office Suite will come with Microsoft Office, Excel, and PowerPoint. I think that you can buy Microsoft Word a la carte, I'm not 100% sure, but I would recommend buying the whole suite because you probably will use Excel or PowerPoint at some point in your life. So on the technological side, those are the two things that you really need to start writing your book. And this video is not going to be a tutorial on how to use Microsoft Word. I'm sure there are plenty of tutorials and how-to videos on YouTube as to how to use Microsoft Word if you don't know how to use it. So I would recommend doing a search for that if it's something you need to learn. So while those are the only two things technologically that you really need to start writing your book, I have discovered a few other things that have made my life easier as a writer. So the first thing is a USB thumb drive or flash drive. A lot of them do not come with this fun thing, so just ignore that. This is normally what they look like. This one is just Staples brand. It's called Relay. And I want to say this one has five gigabytes possibly 10. I honestly can't really remember. But I actually do not save my manuscript on my desktop or even on my computer. I save it on this fun little thumb drive. I do this because in the past I have had computers crash. And although those computers have not been MacBooks, they were Windows-based computers, I still feel more comfortable keeping my manuscript on an external source like a thumb drive. This is also great because I can carry it with me anywhere. So if I'm going on vacation and don't bring my computer and say I wanna get some writing done, I can always use a friend or family's computer or go to the library or go to a university or something like that where I can just plug this in and get to writing. So it's nice because it's portable, it's easily accessible, and it's just nice that it's on an external source just in case something does happen to your computer where it crashes or it loses your files. In addition to saving my manuscript on a thumb drive, I also do save it to the cloud. And by the cloud, I mean Google Drive. 
That way, in case you lose this thumb drive or there's water damage or something happens to it, you have it on the cloud or on Google Drive. So what I do is I will save my manuscript once I'm done writing for the day or editing or doing whatever I need to do, I will save it to this thumb drive and then I will immediately log on to Google Drive and upload that document I just saved onto Google Drive. So that way, I oh, it's always the same copy of the same manuscript. It's just in two separate places in case something ever does happen to this. You may be wondering why save it to both places? Why not just save it to Google Drive if you can access it anywhere? There are some instances maybe where the internet is not available and you have to have the internet in order to access Google Drive. With this guy, you do not need to have the internet. You can just plug it into the USB port on your computer and open your document. So that is why I do both. I've already mentioned the book formatting templates from DIYbookformats.com. Again, I use this because it is so much easier for me to actually write my manuscript in book formats when I'm typing the words. It's really nice to be able to see what it would look like once it's actually printed out as a book. Not to mention, this saves me so much time and headache down the road when I actually need to format my manuscript to get it ready for publication because it's already in book format. So it's a win-win there. And the last little piece of technology I found that has helped me as a writer is something called the Writer App. Now you can get this app for iPhone or Android and it is free. It's great to use when you're on the go and you have a burning story idea or a character arc, but no pen and paper to write with. Now the writer app is similar to the notes function on your phone, but it has different categories, which is what I really love about it that the notes function doesn't have. The categories include outline, notes, chapter, and character. So whenever you type something into the app, you can categorize it as something pertaining to your outline, if it's just a basic note that you need to remember, or if it's something to do with your character or a chapter or a scene that you're working on. So that is one of the functions that I really love about the Writer app. I feel like it keeps all of the elements of your story organized when you're on the go. So that is all that I have for you guys today. That is the technological side of writing. If you guys do want to see a video on, I guess, more technical writing versus creative writing, please let me know in the comments below and I will add it to my future videos list. If you like the content today, please give this video a thumbs up to support my channel and I would also love for you to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any writing advice videos in the future. All of my Amazon best-selling books, The Alpha Drive, The Order of Omega, Restitution, and Shadow Crown are available for purchase on Amazon and Barnes and Noble as well as the Book Depository and Books A Million. You can also order signed copies of my books for just a few dollars more than if you were to buy them on Amazon. For more information on how to get your hands on autographed copies, please please go to my website at kristenmartinbooks.com and click on the buy books tab on the menu bar. If you are a fan of audiobooks, make sure to check out my affiliate link with Audible in the description box below. You can get a free audiobook download and a free 30 day trial for their service. So if you haven't checked them out already, make sure you do that. I do offer some writerly services such as first chapter critiques as well as 30 minute and 60 minute Skype consultations. And if you are a teacher, educator, or librarian and you're interested in finding an author to speak at your school or host a workshop, you can now book me for school visits. For more information on how you can book me, please go to my website at kristenmartinbooks.com and click on the school visits tab as well as the services offered tab. There is a freebie up on my other website at thatsmarthustle.com called five action steps you can take right now to start showing up for your dreams. So make sure you go check that out. And if you love that guide, then you will love my Hustle Smarter, Not Harder webinar series. There are still spots available to sign up. So make sure you do that on my website at thatsmarthustle.com. You can find all the links in the description box below. In addition, I have also started podcasting. You can find my podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud under the name That Smart Hustle. And I know we have a ways to go, but I'm just super excited that I'm attending BookCon next year in New York City on June 2nd and June 3rd. I will be in booth number 1242, selling and signing copies of all of my books. So I really hope to see all of you guys there. If you're not already following me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, make sure you do that for daily writing inspiration and advice, as well as to stay up to date on any price promotion announcements or giveaways that might be going on and if you have any questions or think of a topic for one of my future videos please leave it in the comments below again I would like to thank you so much for watching I would love for you to hit that subscribe button on your way out don't forget I post new writing advice videos on Mondays and personal day in the life vlogs every other Thursday I will see you guys next time bye